The versatility of the unit molecular model system can be best exemplified by how you build divalent atoms. For example, you can build linear geometry by simply putting in a polar peg at the top and bottom, such as you have here for the 180 degrees. There are two other ways to do this, however. Here we've split open the sphere and we found the positions on the equator for the radial pegs at 0 and 120 degrees. And all we have to do is snap this together and we have ourselves the 120 degrees. 110 degrees is represented really just by putting in two of the angled pegs that sort of essentially half the tetrahedral shape. And lastly, the most unusual one is the 100 degree found like in this case sulfur where you put in a radial peg and then after you've had it open and closed again and then you move around and you'll notice that here's the 90 degree uh, position from this and if you just come up a little bit that actually adds up to roughly 100 degrees even as you can see with other types such as this orbit peg here.